Hello again. So today I'm going to be talking about, what am I talking about? Uh, binding properties. Yes. Okay. So what I've got here is a flower component and basically all it is, it's a bunch of flower images. Uh, we got rose, dandelion, chrysanthemum, and whatever is passed in as flower, it'll display right here. Okay. So that's what that is. Flowers right now, it's dandelion, so it's just showing the dandelion flower right here. Okay, so let's say we want to type in a different name and change the image based on what you type right there. So usually you might think, um, I've got my input, let me put type equals text, and maybe I put on key up equals change flower. And then change flower is going to do document.query selector input since I just have one dot value and so flower will be set to whatever the value in here is oops change flower okay so every time I do a key up um, it's supposed to change the reason it is not changing well that's not anything it's still supposed to change the reason is here source needs to be a reactive assignment so right now the source isn't being updated because it's only updating flower Okay, so now source is reactive. And if you don't know what that is, check out my reactive video. Um, so now if I type it in A. So this is just an alt text because it cannot find A. So it is updating now. Um, and this is how you might do it if you didn't know how to bind values. If you did know how to bind values, you would be like, oh, we don't need this. No, thank you. And you would just come here and bind value, so the input value, uh, like when you're making an input tag, you might have value equals. Okay, so you're binding value, and you're binding it to flower. Okay, so now you'll see dandelion, uh, the flower is dandelion, so that's what the value of the input is. But now it'll react, so usually it's just one, this is called one-way um, data flowing, uh, one, uh, sorry, one-way data flow, is that what it's called? Yeah. Anyway, so data flows one way. So it flows from flower down to input. Uh, or if it, in this case here, flower will, dandelion will flow down to flower, but this cannot, the flower cannot change this variable. But when it's here, it can change the variable. So now if I come here and I type rows, it's a rose. And if I type chrysanthemum, now it's a chrysanthemum. So that is binding in Svelte.